Hi, and welcome to another bonus video for the Atomic Timekeeping Podcast. This time I'm going to demonstrate these three Oregon Scientific Projector Clocks. So first I'm going to put the batteries in them and uh, get them going. Now these particular clocks have little projectors built into them so you can have it project the time on the ceiling um, you know, when you press the snooze bar on top or also uh, you can plug in an AC adapter so it'll project the time all the time. The default time zone is Pacific but I'm going to change these to the mountain time zone uh, because I'm in the mountain time zone. So uh, they're just going to run and eventually they're going to set themselves. Right now they're receiving the data from WWVB from the National Institute of Standards and Technology so they're going to be processing the information they're going to receive and then they're going to uh, just suddenly set themselves. The whole process is going to take, I don't know, a couple of minutes. We'll find out as we uh, just watch them do their thing. Uh, by the way, the uh, Atomic Timekeeping podcast is normally in an audio-only podcast, and if you want to check it out, then just go to atomicelmer.blogspot.com, and you can download episodes there. There's a link there where you can subscribe in iTunes and get uh, these little podcasts directly delivered right into your computer. And you don't have to do anything except, uh, you know, turn on iTunes and it'll go get it for you. All right. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to let these clocks run and um, see what happens when they set themselves. Uh, by the way, I've decided to do this podcast in widescreen, and not only widescreen, but uh, the bulk of this podcast uh, is in cinemascope aspect ratio. Wow. And presto, just like that, they've got the correct time. You can see that they're all perfectly synchronized and they're using atomic time as their reference. Uh, you can still find these clocks available. Uh, this is the packaging now, and you'll see something like this if you go out to buy an atomic alarm clock, which is actually just a radio-controlled clock, you know. But uh, anyway, that's uh, more fun watching how clocks set themselves here on the special bonus video from the Atomic Timekeeping Podcast. <laughs> 